What's up, friends? You're kicking on cool, and I am back with another video, guys. I am back, I am back, and I am back. So, y'all, your girl is definitely in a good mood. I've been in a good, good mood lately. Like, I've just been in a great mood. I can't even tell you why, y'all. I can't even, I don't even know why. I just know that God is good, honey. That's all I can say. God is good. Started this video, you know, just like do a little chit chat with y'all, this, that, and the other, nothing too major, you know, just coming out here talking to y'all. So, yeah, but before I get into this video, y'all, y'all already know what I want y'all to do. Make sure y'all hit that like button, y'all. Hit that like button because how many of y'all like my video if y'all don't actually hit the like button? Like, y'all be watching, but y'all be hitting that like button. I'm confused. I don't understand. Also, make sure y'all drop pink cards down below because you know that's your girl's favorite color to let me know that y'all support me. Like, that's all I be wanting y'all to do is just hit the like button and drop the pink cards to let me know that y'all actually supporting your girl. You know, just run these views up and stuff like that and these like buttons. But, yeah, enough with all of that, y'all. I just basically came out here, yeah, with a change of heart and as y'all know, or a lot of y'all know, a lot of y'all might not know that DC Young Black girlfriend had passed away. So we're going to start there. She had passed away the day before yesterday, a couple of days ago. And it scared the mess out of me how I found that that she passed away. And I'm not going to lie, it really did scare me. For the simple fact that I talked to you guys a couple of weeks ago, like in the future, how I wanted to get my, get my boobs lifted up basically. And y'all, I changed my mind completely. I'm not doing that. I'm not. And the only reason, like I told y'all, that I didn't want to do it was because I thought that they wasn't, you know, just to sit them up some more. Child boo. I'm changing my mind completely. I see too many girls get on these surgery tables and get their bodies done and stuff like that. And then not making it back home to their kids. Or if they don't got kids, not making it back home to their loved ones. And that's very, very, very scary. It really is. And when I seen that yesterday, then I'm like, nope, uh, I'm definitely not going to get that surgery no more. Like, I don't want it. Nah, y'all can have it. They said she passed away from mommy makeover, trying to get a mommy makeover. I'm not sure she passed away after the procedure or during the procedure. But that's on quote unquote, that's how she passed away from getting her mommy makeover. Now, how true it is, I don't know, but that was the internet was saying, and that's all I seen, like, across the shade room, I seen, I seen that, like, everywhere. Nine times out of ten, it might be kind of true, you know, when we spread and stuff get all out of proportion, but according to what I read, that's what I said in the statement. So, like I said, I really feel bad for DC on Fly, simply because they have three little ones. And this scared me simply because I have three little kids as well. And the craziest part about a child, all, all three of their kids, from off the picture that I see, like they very close in age. They have, a, I want to say two daughters and a son, if I'm not mistaken. So stuff like that, like I said, all that triggers because I have three little babies. And I'm definitely not about to sit and put my body at risk of a whole surgery that I can totally avoid. That's like a cosmetic thing. That's why I can avoid it because I don't need it. It's just something that I want. And cosmetic is something that people actually want 9 times out of 10. Whether you get your body done, whether you get your teeth done, whether you get your hair done, as far as like hair surgery, all that they consider it cosmetic. So with that being said, it's like, it's not nothing that's necessarily needed, if that makes sense. So I'm like, nope, I changed my mind. I'm not going to get that surgery. I'm about to just child buy me a whole bunch of good bras like I've been doing push up bras at that and sit these things up because I'm not gonna get no no I'm not gonna lie y'all I wanna be real bad I just basically want the surgery just to lift them up I ain't even want them to put nothing inside like no silicone not cause girls you know how they be having like silicone to like lift them up and then push them I don't need all of that I just want y'all to just lift them up but I'm not gonna get my life put at risk all over me trying to get my boobs done. I like how my body is like it is. It's just too scary and too risky. It really is. And my babies need me. I need them. I got family. It's just the risk that you take when you getting put under anesthesia. Getting put to sleep, period. Like, that's just... With any surgery. 
with any surgery now times out of 10 that's just the risk that you take yeah it can happen with any surgery that you get like whether it's cosmetic surgery or any you know health surgery anything like that but the thing is my throat hurt. you see a lot of females especially passing away from cosmetic surgery and getting a bbl getting a mommy makeover stuff like that like the female that passed away last was it last year sometimes if i'm not mistaken when her her friend went to go get a bbl done and one friend made it out good and healthy on her healing journey the other friend unfortunately she passed away i don't want to say like a day later or something like that so i just be saying like ladies it's really 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 not worth trying to get your body done to you know try to please the next person only reason why i wanted my chest done only because like i said i didn't like how they looked on you know as far as me trying to get them set up i didn't like how they look I mean, everybody different. No, I wasn't trying to get it to please no man. I'm, I wasn't doing none of that. And a while back, actually, like, way a few months ago, I had actually asked Isaiah, what did he think about me trying to get it done? And he was just basically asking me, like, like what made me want to get it done? I just want him set up some more. Well, he was like, you know, I mean, that's your body, but me, I won't recommend you getting them done. This, that, and the other. You know, me being me, I still thought it over. And I'm like, okay. Like, I had an actual conversation with my husband. It wasn't nothing, like, in-depth, in-depth like that because it wasn't like I was going to go get a surgery done in a couple of months from here or, you know, a couple of weeks from here or nothing like that. I just, you know, I just briefly touched over it with him to, you know, get his thoughts on, like, what do you think about me trying to get my boobs done? I'm definitely not about to do it. I'm just about to buy me some more good bras and call it a day like I've been doing. It's not that serious, ladies. It really ain't. You never know why people do what they do. And the reason why I say that because she had, like, insecurities about her body or this, that, and other. Of course, she had three kids, so you never know if, she, you know, a lot of females, they insecurities be the first thing that they have after they have kids. Stretch marks or they they stomach they be having the stomach after their afterwards and stuff like that so you know i don't know if she had insecurities about, about herself so i'm not gonna judge her say you know that's dumb or she dumb this and the other for getting what she tried to get and you know that's why she not here i'm not that kind of person she's i don't know her insecurities and you know anything could probably would, would have been going through her mind so that's what i'm saying that's to say i'm not trying to judge her or anything like that i'm just saying like it's just saying that that happened to her even though I don't know her, which she could shouldn't have got it done. But like I said, she probably figured that the first surgery that she got, if she did get a BBL, then she probably figured that that surgery was a success. So she's going to try to do it again and do another one. And nine times out of ten, if she figured that the other surgery wasn't going to go well, her healing didn't go as planned or anything like that, like any health issues during her healing process. Then, of course, she probably wouldn't have got the money makeover. So, she, like I said, she probably figured, like, you know, since my first surgery went well, then I'm going to go ahead and get another one. So, yeah. I got three kids myself. My stomach go right back flat after I have my kids a couple of weeks later. Literally, like, a couple of weeks later, my stomach go right back flat. Like, that's how my stomach is so small now, y'all. Like, you guys look at my stomach. If I can get up. You guys look at my stomach. I don't look nowhere near seven months at all. Like, nowhere near seven months. So, with that being said, when people do ask me how many months I am, I'll be telling them I'm going to be seven months. They don't believe me. I mean, when I say that they don't believe me, they be like, it's very shocking to them, should I say. It's just, I carry all my kids small. So, with that being said, I never looked at me trying to, you know, get in my makeup room with my stomach snatched or nothing like that. I never looked at it like that. I just did it. Honestly, y'all, I'll be trying to gain some weight. I ain't even trying to lose nothing. I got anything that I got as far as my weight. I'm trying to gain it. I'm not trying to lose anything. I'm not. Stretch marks don't matter to me. I don't got no stretch marks anyway. Um, I never did have them with none of my kids. Well, the first two. Not even with this pregnancy. I don't have them. If I did, was to have them. It's just stretch marks. I call them beauty marks if I was to get them. I do have stretch marks on my thighs, of course. I'm not going to do the whole nine yards to, you know, please somebody else or try to look good for somebody else. No, I just want to be natural within myself and, you know, keep what God blessed me with. That's all. That's just how I am. I don't want to get no surgery and try to look good for the next person or try to be a competition with the next female or... You know, and like I said, sometimes it's a lot of, a lot of that got to do with people, females and securities as well. So you never know what people be going through. So, 
yeah like i said i'm a no judge this is a no judging zone i'm not here to judge nobody you know internet don't make it no better try to portray somebody who they really not and that's why a lot of people really you know yeah i don't know y'all it's just too much it really is but hey it's the internet for you that's all i can say but I'm about to go ahead and end this video right here. Make sure y'all comment pick cards down below because you know that's your girl favorite color. Plus my door. Also, make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when you're going to kick it on cool to drop these bangers because they come for us in 2023. That's what? Period, child. Period, period, period. And I'm going to see you guys in another video.